I just gotta say it one more time, and you're probably getting sick of hearing it, but the past two episodes, I've just been blown away, blown away by the support. I can't even talk right now. Blown away by the support, and it's just crazy. So, thank you guys so much for loving this series as much as you do. It's been a ton of fun to record, and it's really been, like, it's interesting. I've never recorded a series like this. You know, it's usually always had some sort of, like, you know, very set progression. But this has been, like, kind of a, uh, a different atmosphere of a series. And it feels nice. It feels refreshing to do. Like, really, like, I'm in control of everything that I'm doing. So, anyways, guys, I love you very much. We're going to go ahead and drop right into episode three. Drop a like on the video for the series. And trust me when I say... This is an interesting one, and by that I mean it's pretty epic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not good. This is not good whatsoever. So, welcome to another episode of Mitch's oldest server, the BYD server, whatever you want to call this series. It's a dime and a dozen, I will tell you that right now. So, I just woke up. I just, just woke up about five minutes ago. And I went on Twitter, you know, going through my messages, trying to wake up, you know, by getting on your phone and stuff. And I was sent a barrage of messages and tweets saying all bad, bad, bad things. Apparently, Celadon has fallen into ruin, which if you guys don't know what that means, I'll give you a brief little overview. Townie servers need money to stay afloat. They need money in their bank to stay towns because every day you have to pay taxes as the mayor of a town and if you don't have currency in your town bank your town will fall to ruins quote unquote now i actually spent about you guys know the diamond blocks that was down underneath my area i actually cashed out about 10 stacks of those diamond blocks diamond blocks and put them into my town's bank and we survived a day you know what i mean we survived a day we got the payoff or whatever and we had enough money to stay alive when 15 other towns all fell at once we stayed alive but apparently this time around for some reason we didn't have enough money i don't freaking know how much money you need in a town when 10 down blocks is enough so when i heard this news i'm like god damn are you serious so we're probably not the only ones on the server that fell to ruin but all i know is that our town fell to ruin and it says it in chat when it does and apparently someone else overclaimed over my area of the town a lot of people set home in my base we're talking tr mad trash mad trash is being thrown around apparently and i just have to say i don't know if i'm ready for what i'm about to jump into right now because we have 32 people 31 31 people on the server right now and uh i'm probably gonna log in get trapped in a town that's not mine because i'm pretty sure i logged out in my house and i don't know if i'll be able to slash spawn and i may possibly die people have their set homes there and they'll be able to come and kill me i'm pretty sure unless the town is no pvp then we might have an opportunity to get out but i don't think that we will so oh god all right um let's just jump into this i want to make sure i'm recording 100 percent. yes i am that was a long ramble Let's just jump in. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. Three, two. My phone's going off. Three, two, one. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, hi. Hi. How are you doing? He's trying. There's no PvP. Okay, there's no PvP right now. Right now. Right now. Hey, Pete, check the tweet that I sent you. Mods. There's mods now. Okay, there's apparently mods. Cords to Iron City Pizza Hut. They took it. Baka Blaziken. Saying we took... Hi. All of you. Oh, he fully geared himself and he was trying to swing at me. That's fantastic. Uh, hey, I and Mander MC protected the house. Wait a minute. What's Wait a minute. What town is this? Wait a minute. Uh, town map. Wait, no. Towny map what town is this this is um what is this wait town celadon wait town celadon wait a minute is this celadon did i log into celadon or like is this um a different wait a minute wait a minute is this celadon did they reclaim it as celadon i'm confused i have absolutely no idea what's going on right now i have your babies on my head i wish it fell right yeah i'm aware of that i wish i was able to nobody's nobody's even paying attention to the chat yes i own it i'll give it back oh master he didn't put any money into your bank i had 10 stacks of diamond blocks worth of currency in my bank 
How much more money do I need? <laughs> How much more money did I need? I put 10. I know townie. I know exactly how this works. It doesn't go from battle to town. I'm aware. I deposited all of it through the command. Someone's giving me money right now. I got to pay these guys back. Keep an eye on that. I was aware of the command. I was aware of it. It's every in-game day. Yes. How did I... I, you know what? These guys are just gonna tell me the same thing over again. And no lag, never set, not, never counts to three. They broke my bed for crying out loud, and outsiders are not allowed to switch. I'm an outsider to this town. Our town fell in ruins. Guys, one like equals one. Hashtag rip Celadon. One like equals one. Hashtag rip Celadon. So, I'm not exactly sure what's going on right now. I wish I could check do slash town. You don't belong to any town. We do not belong to a town. Uh, Town Celadon. That is the thing. Chief Master C0066 and Mander MC. Uh, permissions build. It is in the same location for what I can see right here. Uh, build destroy is off. Switches off and item are off. Uh, explosions, fire spread, and mob spawns are off. And the bank has $2,000 in it. And the daily upkeep is $10. I had like 200 grand in the bank and it somehow... It's just somehow, I, I just, I just don't understand. So, I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen right now. Uh, Mander says, Mander, how I invite P. He wants to invite me to the town. Me and my friend would like to visit, sell it on World we'll Destroying It. Well, that's, I don't know if I believe you. Oh, my, ch all my chests, all my goods. So, I don't know whether or not, like, here's the thing. You've been invited, you've been invited to join the town, sell it on. I mean, a screenshot of that for the thumbnail if I ever need it for whatever reason. There we go. Let me get that thumbnail. Let me get that thumbnail, baby. I'm not, I'm never going to hear that message again. Except, Pizza, join the town. My, uh, I'm a member of the town now. We are indeed a member of the town. Oh, dear God. This is, uh, this is all, this is all new. I was once the mayor of Celadon, and now I am but a lowly member. Pete Town Chat. Town chats townie chats i don't know how you do that I i'll have to figure that out later did they take my they did take my down blocks they did take all my they took all my potions oh god damn it it took all my potions fudge sakes fudge sakes um yeah <laughs> i don't know how to do that manner doesn't either i think there's uh yeah some people are saying they have a home inside the house i'm pretty sure this house has been straight up compromised in all its entirety, for the most part. Um, I don't know how to talk in town chat. I'll have to learn how to do that in a moment here. I think Blaziken's actually looking into it right now. They broke the sign over here. The enchant table. It uh, it still works. To, yeah, it still works at three. Sorry, I took it down box and I said, Okay, good. That's fine. That, the town of Rogue fell into ruin. Huh. I thought that was Celadon again and we were all about to get ganked. Pete, I claim to me and, and Mander MC protected. You lost nothing. Okay, um, how do I do the town? I'm gonna have to learn how to do- I'm gonna do a town chat, and I'll be right back. Oh, here we go. It's, a uh, town chat. It's just one word, actually. Um, did you guys get a hold of the potions? So I'm actually- oh, wait, no, it's not up. That's never- never mind, it's not a command? Uh, what about TC, possibly? What about TC? Let me see if TC is a command. Let me see. TC? Did you get- yeah, okay, that- that works, that works. That's actually a lot easier, so that's good. Um, so it says they took the, the nine diamond blocks, the nine stacks of diamond blocks. I'm okay with that. Uh, someone's asking me why I didn't upload Ark yesterday. Well, that's a rude thing to do on the server. Nah, it's not rude. It's not rude. I'm just uh, grouchy. I just woke up. I think. Hopefully he did. Uh, Ark, by the way, we'll talk about that later. I'm just focused on this series right now. Not, no, just focus on this right now. Right now. With me being, just uh, having woken up right now. Someone said they're rebuilding Skyrim. Okay. So let's talk about what we've got going on right now, okay? Let's talk about what we got going on right now. So Wolver's gonna get a ban. That's a good thing to know. Um, guys, you want to leave to get screenies later. Let's see. Um, what do we want to do right now? T deposits. Uh, hand. It must be an integer. What? Oh, I have to sell- right, I forgot. I have to sell hand. Uh, here I am saying, oh, I know the command, but it's not actually- And then I gotta go, T deposits, uh, 12,800. This is exactly what I did last time. And for some reason, I don't understand- How did it fall into ruins if there was literally hundreds of thousands of dollars in there? And how were there even towns if 
I put in like that many diamond blocks, that much iron, that much gold, and it still fell into ruins. That just, it, it baffles me. How? I do, I woke up this morning and I just had no, no understanding of why this is a thing. We got to wait a little bit to sell hand. I can do that real fast here. I, I, I'm baffled. I don't understand. I'm unaware completely. All I know is that the guys that are here, Mander and Master, are pretty chill dudes. Uh, we got a lot of people saying on the back here. Uh, I did alter the windows yesterday, by the way, so that people couldn't get in and teleport. That was a problem with the panes over there. But, um, yeah, apart from... There's the down blocks. Yeah, that'll, that'll definitely do it. So, kills going down? Probably gonna have kills going out soon, I would say. But yeah, honestly, um, I'm not exactly sure what to make of this right now. Pete asked him to leave. I can't, I can't, I can't ask him to leave. Can I, I can't open doors. So I can open doors. That's good to know. Lord Maximus was just slain by Arctic Recon. I think he was outside here. I'm just happy that I still have my bedrock. And if I'm being fair right now, I honestly need to, I think I, I think it's, I think I need to make my own town now. I think I need to make my own town now. Mitch and I, we have not talked, but I've heard tales in Mitch's first episode that he wanted to, you know, hit me up, and we have hit up, and, uh, well, we haven't hit up yet, but Mitch did say he was gonna hit me up either sometime today or tomorrow once he gets settled in in Montreal with Rob. Um, I believe it's where they are right now. But yeah, apart from that, though, um, pretty much we're not aware, or we haven't discussed that whether or not Mitch and I are gonna be going together with each other or going against each other. But I have a feeling it might be against. And I think I've got some pretty cool ideas for why that would be a really better series. But you know what? That is the time and discussion for another time. All I know right now is that we got a lot of people in here that are not a part of Celadon. That I don't think will be getting. Um... <laughs> That's fantastic. I mean, and now Mander needs to get up. Ah, oh, it's incredible. That is incredible. Uh, can I do, uh, T-spawn? Is that a- th huh! The town spawns right there. Well, he just set that in the middle of literally nowhere. That's funny. So, um, yeah, here's the situation that we're facing right now, then. So, Celadon's no longer in my control. I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing about that. So, really, it's never gonna be a time when there's nobody on the server now. With as many people that are whitelisted as there are. Uh, okay, Pete, you want it back. Oh God! Um. Oh Jesus! I got runtime asking for an update right now. Uh, TC, let's hold off on it for just a little. Uh, TC, let's just keep uh PVP turned off, and I'll keep depositing for a bit into the bank. Let's just keep doing that for a little while. I think would be a good idea. Let's hold off on it. Uh, men or don't own. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a good idea. Mender agree with me on there. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we got the agreement right then. So we're good on that. Honestly, honestly, and I'm being honest when I say this, I may or may not take this as my departure. Now, I do appreciate the fact that these guys want to give a town back to me. You know what I mean? Like this was, you know, this was a very big and special thing for me. Um, and they they now own it. It's a fair game, I think. <laughs> I don't exactly know how the town fell, but I think it's fair game. So, here's what I think we can do. Here's what I think we're gonna do. I think we're gonna move out of, um, I think we're gonna move out of the town today. I think we're gonna find a place out somewhere in the wilderness to start making our own, um, at least temporarily. Or, what I could possibly do is wait for the go-ahead with Mitch, because I'm sure he's gonna be making a sex episode soon. He said he might even be hitting me up later today, um, so that's a thing. So we might hit up then, and I might make, like, my decision then. It's likely when we hit up, uh, if we do go the route of going against each other, which I still think would be amazing, I'll have to make my own town, and Mitch will make his own town, and it'll kind of go from there. So I might hold off on doing that, but for the main being, I think we might call this as, like, our sort of breach and clear. Um, so what I'm gonna do... <laughs> yeah. Well, I was trying to think that Beijing Canadian joined the game right there. Someone just killed someone else with, Don with Dunzo. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sell hand. We got to wait three measly seconds before doing that. Let's go and get the sell hand right there. 64,000 right now. So I can't withdraw from the bank, I'm pretty sure. I can only deposit. So I'm going to actually hang on to that 64K. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, hmm. 
So what I'm gonna do, these guys boarded up a whole area. I'm just gonna say fudge that's there. I'm so sorry right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I think sell all the iron blocks here. Uh, when I get the chance to because mainly iron blocks are easy to get but I'm pretty sure they're quite wealthy if we go ahead and do slash worth right now it worth about 12,000 so that's not too bad for a stack um, I think the diamond blocks are worth um so they're worth 2,000 okay no it's actually much much lower so that's good to know uh, gold blocks are actually for some reason you guys take a look right here actually worth more than dot wait yeah it's worth more wait no never mind it's not oh they're dying outside <laughs> they are dying outside. They are fighting outside. This is very, uh, there's no PvP, right? There's no, there's no PvP. We're fine. So, right then. I guess that's it. Um, I'm just gonna take what I need to depart from here. Or I might actually, because here's the thing. If I set my home at my new area, what I can do is I can, like, transfer a bunch of items to a new remote location far off, far off in the wilderness for right now and hang 10 there for a little while and then chill sell it on spawn because I can do, uh, what is it, hold on I can do T-spawn and that'll teleport me over to here, wonderful and if I do slash set home, uh, like, for example, right I'm not going to do right now, but if I do slash set home somewhere then I'll be able to kind of, like, transfer in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out so I think um, that's what we might honestly do. Um, I'll give these guys a rundown real fast, and uh, I'll chat with them in a little bit here. But I think that's going to be my game plan. So um, yeah, apart from that, I'll catch you guys back after we've done a little bit of um, a little bit of side work. Also, I do have to apologize. I'm not exactly sure why it is, because I think I look the same all the time. But for some reason, as soon as I wake up, my face just looks a lot groggier than it like usually is and i don't know why like i don't know why the textures of my face and just like my face in general look tired but i i look the exact I, I don't know so if i look a little bit weird in the thumbnail it's like i said it's because i literally just woke up it might be because i you know what it might actually be because i don't oh, uh what is it open my eyes is wide that might actually be i might still have like droopy eye so that might be it um yeah let's figure out what we're doing okay so i think the game plan right now is um we just gotta try getting out of spawn which is going to be a rather difficult task. So I'm going to go ahead right now and pop on my blast protection helmet right now. Um, I have a fortune three axe. Got to remember that axes do more damage than swords, so I will hold on to my axe. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do right now then is I'm going to go ahead and go, I guess, up here and then maybe do like T spawn and now just normal spawn. And I'm going to run backward and I am going to run, ladies and gentlemen. We are safe, it looks like. Yes, it does. We are piecing the scene, and nobody found me. Excellent. Wait. Someone did find me. But it's okay, because I've got an upper edge. I do not actually have a boat on me, fudge. I don't have a boat on me. But it doesn't look like they're actually following me. It does not look like they're actually following me, so I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're all right. I think we're all right. So, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, is uh eat a little bit of cooked pork oh no i am being followed i'm most definitely being followed i am most definitely being followed um let's skate a boat real fast uh i don't know if they'll think of building a boat but let's uh go build a boat real quickly um can i maybe find an area that's got a little bit of wood for trees possibly i should you know what i i literally i literally have a chest in my town with 16 mother fudging ender pearls for situations like this I think I'm fine. I don't think I'm being hunted down right now. I think we're okay. I uh, hope that witch doesn't grab me right now. It should be all right. So we just need to find a little bit of wood right now. Uh, I'm gonna make a boat. This is my this is my leave. You know what I mean? This is my leave right now. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, wait a second. In the meantime, you know what I'm gonna do real quick here? Uh, I'm going to go back over to uh, Celadon. Rip. That's him. <laughs> I literally turn right back in the middle of my fears, and I don't actually know whether or not who's near Pete. Yeah, Otter wants to come kill me just so badly. Um, eventually, I will want to come over to uh, what's it called? I'm gonna come over to uh, old Skyrim or Skyrim rather and check because I apparently, apparently was told that um, what's it called? That they rebuilt my house in Skyrim, so I do definitely want to see that right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and um, just run out for a little while. Uh, we'll we'll see where this takes us. By the way, you cheeky bastards. Ain't nobody saying that I'm running out this direction. So we'll see. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have been traveling a decade. A decade and a half. I do not even exaggerate. I watched a couple YouTube videos, listened to a few musics. I said it like that. Come at me. 
and we found this gem far off in the world. It's just a little bit of what appeared to have once been a, uh, a mushroom island, but it is no longer a mushroom island anymore. It is off the ocean, but a uh, personal... So what do we got here? What do we got? We have some broken wooden slabs. Of course, my favorite things of the server. Uh, beautiful, beautiful little area right here. Uh, we have a bookshelf walkway. I can only imagine... See, the bummer thing about this, right, is that right here you guys can see is where the world actually got split in half. I believe this is new terrain generation. This is old terrain generation. This is probably a much, much bigger uh, build before everything just got destroyed. So that's kind of unfortunate, really. But uh, let's see if there's anything that got saved around here. We got a... Uh, not really... Not really anything that looks like it got saved at all. What about through here? We do have, uh, who is this? Dogman Dan. Do I remember that name? I'm not even sure if I do or not. Then we got these two chests over here. Lapis and minecarts with furnaces. So you only have the most important things saved from here. But, um, yeah, I guess we're pretty much good to... I want to call this my place for right now. They were going to call this my place for right now. Um, we don't really have a lot of wood, but I think there was actually, there might have been some wood inside of here. Was there wood inside of here? Uh, no, there did not appear to be. But I think we'll be able to just take wood from the forest. So, we are going to lodge here then, I think would be the best idea. Yeah, there's a couple chests right here. We can go ahead and start using those right now. Um, so we can do that for the time being. Now, I have the option, obviously, of, uh, creating this as its own town or leaving it in the wild. Now, with Towny... There really is no reason why I don't think that I should ever just make it not my own town. Because I think doing that's only a good thing, to be fair. So, um, I think we're going to go ahead and do that then. So, I'm going to go ahead and make this a town then. I think, yeah, we'll make this, um... Let's make this a town. Oh, no way! Guys, check this shiz out! This is so cool! So, these old blocks, actually... If you guys didn't know, uh, slabs, they used to carry the same properties. Because there's wooden slabs and stone slabs. Slabs usually, uh, back then, actually used to carry the same properties all around. So, there was only one real type of slab, really. And what I mean by that is that nowadays, because... And this has been like this for a long time. Because this is wood... It's wood, right? You use an axe on it. However, that doesn't work because of the old slab form. So what you have to do is you have to actually mine it up with a pickaxe because it carried, like I said, the same slab property as, you say, stone slab. So if you break it, watch this. How cool is that? How cool is that? That's freaking awesome. No way. I actually cannot believe that that's actually a thing. And whoever Jerome is in chat just got nicked or whatever. That's kind of cool. That is so sick, dude. That actually really rate that. That is really cool. Anyway, so what we're doing right now is we are uh, breaking down our little area right here. We're basically remaking up a home. Um, I'm kind of like just encasing in all the open area with, um, what's it called? Um, just leaves because it looks kind of cool in my opinion. And I think it's really all we need for the most part. So uh, that's really all we're doing right now. I think we'll be okay. Um, this is kind of what we got going on right now. A little bit of a leaf formation over here. We got a random chest. Why not? This is all boarded up with leaves. And then on the back here is all just uh Oh, actually. Good that I probably caught this because I do remember that there is a way to get inside through just slabs like this. So I actually have to go ahead and break down this glass right here. That was the problem with my other place. People got in the home through that way. Um, just by TPAing or whatever. It's not really... You don't really want to do that. So we got that working along through there. And then is there any other... Ooh, actually. Okay, this is an easy fix. So let's go ahead and break this down. One, two. Are we... We are out of leaves. All right, so I need to get a few more leaves back over here. But what I'm going to do in the meantime, then, is actually get a crafting table set up. I will put it down. I think right about here should be a good spot for a crafting table. There we go. And we'll go ahead and just get a bunch of chests, really. And now we're going to go ahead and start transferring up some items from our old place into the new one. So uh, we'll put down another chest right over there. There we go. And then I think we'll leave this area empty of chests. We can put down... Um, hmm? Put down chest. Maybe like right there and right there, and then maybe right there and right there. That looks kind of actually. That looks really cool. Maybe we can get one. Well, you can't do that. That actually looks really cool there. So I rate that. But um, yeah. Let's see here. I think we're good. Yeah. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now? I set my home here. If I go ahead and do slash home, teleport me over to this location. So we're gonna go ahead and do town spawn then. But what I am gonna do in the meantime though, because we do actually have a uh, sort of a safe place for the time being, is I'm gonna go ahead and dip off my most valuable things for right now, which is uh, the bedrock number one, the slime spawn eggs number two. Um, and I guess just really let my tools for the most part. Yeah, just my tools, I would say. We keep a little bit of food on us, I'd say. Just a little bit, really, uh, should do the job. 
job i just completely nullified that there we go and get rid of all that right there okay so um yeah, let's go ahead and dip back over to t spawn and we should be we're alone we got manders as well as this other guy uh over here so uh, let's just go ahead and take some things back home we want some i thought that was lapis Let's go ahead and take some stuff back home, and uh, we'll work it from there. The awkward moment when one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people all join the server at one time. And I have a feeling, oh my god. Okay, well, whitelist has been turned off. Oh, dear me, this ain't good. <laughs> I chose a very good time to leave. I chose a very, very good time to come on and have evac basically everything. Uh, if you guys want a little bit of backstory on what I've taken out right now, you guys saw two chests right over there. And if I go ahead and show you, these are what I took from right here. Uh, took a little bit of this. This is actually, no, it's just my gear from before, never mind. But um, took this over here. So this is what we got right now. Kyle joined the game, so Kyle's gonna be our voice of reason. Took some Ender Pearls, obviously, as well as took some potions. Glad these were still actually a thing. So, um, yeah, now that's gonna be both of um what we needed to do, really. So I think apart from that, really, the only thing that I have to do is to create a new town. So I'm gonna go ahead, I think, let me go ahead and do a uh, town spawn one more time. See if there's anyone around here. There does not appear to be many people around here. I think for the most part, we are good to say Sayonara. I'm gonna take a power one bow. I rate the power one bow. I'm breaking three. Eh, I, could, I could deal without it for a little bit here. But um, let's go ahead and drop down here. We do got some people from here that are new, uh, that have been on that are not whitelisted, so uh, they might be one of the screen use or something, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna see if they have any leaves. Is there any, ooh, uh, spruce leaves? Oh, I think they boarded them up. They boarded up some of the, uh, the valuable chests. But I believe there might be some leaves around here. There's not, apparently, no, there's no leaves. But I got some glass, so I rate that for sure. But uh, let's go ahead and go down here real fast here and take just what we need from the last just over here. I'm gonna go take a little bit of glowstone, uh, a little bit of magma cream, a little bit of fermented spider eye, some gold nuggets, some gas tears, some glowstone, a few bottles, a few nether warts, uh, some glycerine melons. Try not to take too much. Don't really want to be too much of a hog. These guys did overtake my base by fairness, but they are allowing me to be here. So all is fair in love and war. Um, yeah, they were good. I think it's really most of all of what I needed. I rate the obsidian, so I'm gonna take all of that. We actually had a lot of obsidian before, and that's now gone. Uh, and there's also, uh, what's it called underneath here? Yeah, we got this area. I do not have an enchanted table, but I will get working on one soon. Should be able to make one pretty much immediately. So let's go ahead and do, uh, is that all? I think that's pretty much it. There's a little bit more glass in here, so I rate the glass. I might actually swap out the leaves for glass. I'm not sure what I'll do with that. But uh, I think that would be uh, mostly pretty much everything. I think everything's been accounted for, taken. We are good. I think we're about ready to <sighs> say goodbye. We're ready to say goodbye. And uh, whatever happens to this town happens to this town. There's really no other way to put it right now. What do we want to take? Is there anything else we want to take for right now? Anything else of the sort? Let's take a stack of sticky, sticky pistons. Why not? Yeah, I think that's going to do it. All right, I don't think there's anything else that I might have left behind. I think that's going to clear it. Okay, slash home right now, and we'll do slash town space leave. Pizza Hut left the town. It's been fun, guys. It's been fun. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to do town create uh, new. Or what is this? Sorry, town. I think it's town new. And I have to specify a town name. What do you want to call? What do you want to call it? You know what? We're going to specify town name or town new nomad we're gonna name it nomad pizza create a new town called nomad and uh we're gonna go ahead and just create just basically claim all the area around here because we should be able to now we go ahead and do town claim uh town cannot afford to claim one blocks it works this time beautiful we're gonna go do town uh deposits we'll do maybe ten thousand dollars i think would be a good idea so we'll go ahead and town claim right over here wonderful i'm gonna go ahead and block out the chat so this is not shown so you guys don't need to know where exactly this is if you find it good on you you're not really gonna be able to do much i don't think um this is pretty pretty well guarded i would say it would be good so let's just maybe break out of the leaves for right now maybe i can replace them back or something I do see to get out of here, and I just realized that I have no ability to get out. There's no doors or anything, so <laughs> it's a little bit of a, a problem, I would suppose. A little bit of a slight problem. So let's go ahead and jump out here, then. Uh, we can maybe put down some glass if we as we fall. Oh, just got it beautifully. I love it. So go ahead and town claim over here. Claim that area up, and we'll claim over here. Beautiful. And then do we need to claim over 
This all looks claimed. This is good. As long as all the area is claimed, and it looks like all the area is, for the most part, claimed. Yes, I believe it is. Okay, wait, no, Wilderness a little bit right here. But then again, I think that's just, uh... Oh, actually, yeah, that's really close, actually, the Wilderness. Oh, because the chunks are right on the edge here. That makes sense. So we're going to do that. And then I believe one more little chunk are going to be needed to claim right down... Where is it going to need to be claimed? Do we need to claim right here? Town's already been claimed. The area's already been claimed. This area's already been claimed. Wilderness. And I think that'll go ahead and do it. Um, Yeah, beautiful. So if we go ahead and do uh, town or slash home, rather. Wonderful. So we can go ahead and set that's right there. We'll go ahead and set our town home. I would say our town spawn, rather. So we'll do uh, town set spawn. Beautiful. Set spawn's not registered. Forgot how to do it. Townie set spawn. You don't have enough permissions for that command. I, it's some command. I'll figure it out later. Uh, but apart from that, though, I think we are 100% pretty much good to go on this area. It's looking wonderful. We got ourselves a new little town until we figure out what exactly uh, Mitch wants to do for the series. But, uh, <sighs> Rip Celadon. That's all I gotta say. At least Rip Celadon under my control. It's still a thing. My house is still not in ruins quite yet. And hopefully it won't be for a very long time. I'd love if that state is like the one artifact on the server. But I have a feeling that eventually it will be destroyed. But we'll see how it goes. But apart from that, guys, love you all very much. Take care. That's going to go and do it for episode three of Mitch's oldest server, the BYD server. My oldest server ever. Whatever you want to call it. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you once again for your continued support. This has been a very interesting series so far. And uh, it's definitely a lot different than really any other content that I've ever made. But yeah, apart from that, love you all. Take care. I'll catch you back next time. Ciao!